It's the thinking man's Templar. It's like watching angels fall. And you watch the angel fall from the heavens and descend to the ground and die. See, the misconception is that men that speak about women hate women. And it's nothing further from the truth. See, men love women. And they're disappointed at watching women fall from grace. Like an angel falling from heaven. I feel ashamed that I can't do anything about it. It's like we have to watch this train wreck in slow motion of feminism destroy another generation of women. And it hurts me to see, or it hurts when I hear women talk of their promiscuous behavior and how much they drink and do drugs and how they don't want children and they don't care to be wives. It hurts men because it's just a stark, stark reminder that we are indeed alone out here. A woman's best years are given to the worst men. And it hurts. After the red pill, Certain things just aren't the same. You can see the whole timeline of the events that brought something to the point, the particular point that you're witnessing. Like when I see a woman pushing a stroller with a child in tow and one in her belly, and they look as if they are in a struggle, I see the whole timeline of that. It's like seeing an angel fall. At one point, this girl was on one path and then she chose to go another way. And watching an angel fall is heartbreaking. When I see a woman dancing in a strip club who has all the beauty a man could want in a woman, spinning around half naked for a bunch of drunken simps, who throw money at the ground and she picks it up like a groveling peasant for showing her most precious gifts. That is a fallen angel. And to see women go down that path, it's like watching an angel fall from grace. When I see women fighting and twerking online and showing their body online, I know that they're on the path of a fallen angel. And there's nothing more hurtful than knowing if these women just had the guidance, they can be a man's greatest gift, worth more than rubies and gold and diamonds something a man would give his life for and protect with his life. It's like watching angels fall to see the things that women go through. Knowing that my red pill heart cannot feel the same way I used to in the mind state of, I have to come to rescue them. Because that's what's going to happen. Women are going to reach a point of critical mass and they're going to look for men to pull them up. And it's going to be the choice of men to pull them up, dust them off, forgive them for their transgressions and give them another try or to just leave them to suffer. That's the scariest part. When I see certain women who 
abuse their bodies with drugs and alcohol, not knowing that it adds e years to a woman, way more than they do a man. Years. You see women in their 30s, they look 40. All the beauty of their 20s literally disappears once they reach their 30s. And women don't n ever seem to be prepared for it. And it changes them. They become bitter because men don't see them the same way. And now they never really develop the skills to keep a man around. And they become angry because men don't stick around anymore. Because they look burnt out. When I see the things I see, it's definitely like watching angels fall. Because you want the best for them. You want them to be safe and secure and healthy. And to have all the things they want. If they want family to have as many kids as they can bear. With the right man who protect that whole family with his life. And they can be happy. But women want to spend their time in office buildings and in traffic. Trying to compete with men. When all men are doing is giving them what they want because they want to make you happy. But really men know that biologically you're not happy in a cubicle, on the phone. Men would love if you would just love to raise his children and keep his lineage alive and safe. You wouldn't have to work. You wouldn't have to compete It's definitely like watching angels fall. You look into the heavens and you see a beautiful angel. Just think of the most beautiful woman you've ever seen in your life. Whether it was yesterday or two days ago, we all have a woman that we just can't forget. We saw and we said, that is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And you look and you think of an angel with that woman's physique and face, wings, golden right above the horizon, shining, and to just see the light escape her and to just fall to the earth, wings limp and dead, and she just crashes into the earth, hurts to see something so beautiful die, like watching a rose burn Something so beautiful can become literally ash. It's not a good feeling for men who have to deal with the reality of knowing that more than likely you'll have to walk this life alone. And that angel that you are taught would be there for you one day, she will never come. And that is the greatest pain of all. So for all you men, keep your head up. I know it's hard to watch. But you must be strong through the pain. And it hurts for all of us have to look to the heavens and see our angels fall. This is the Thinking Man's Templar. Good evening, gentlemen.